Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new accessory from Ubiquity that was just announced. And that accessory is the SFP Wizard. This is going to be a quick video as there's not too much to the SFP Wizard. I'm going to show you how it works and then we'll talk about some deals that Ubiquity is going to be running for a limited time for their SFP modules. So let's go take a look at the SFP Wizard. And this is the SFP Wizard and what does it do for us? Well, you can instantly reprogram, test and unlock universal compatibility for every optical module. And it will also give us full diagnostics and OTA updates. This does work with third party SFPs as well. We could see that we have this little LCM right on the front. And then on the bottom of it, we have two different ports. We have one for our SFP and then we have our Q SFP port. On the very top of the SFP wizard, we have a USB-C and this is be for powering up this device. And on the side, we have our power button. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn on the SFP wizard. We're gonna put in an SFP into it and we're gonna copy the profile. With that profile copied, we're gonna transfer it to another SFP. So let's go ahead and we'll power it on by pressing the button on the side. With the SFP wizard now turned on, it says insert a transceiver to write or copy its profile. So you could do SFP or you could do QSFP. We're just gonna be copying this Ubiquity 10 gigabit SFP module. So I'm gonna insert it into the SFP wizard. Now this may be a little hard to see, but there are two different options. We could either write to it or we could copy, but we're gonna to wanna to copy the profile. Now that that profile is copied, we wanna remove this transceiver. The next step, we could transfer that profile to a third party transceiver, which I will be using, which is a Phantom Cables SFP Plus module. And I'm gonna put it into the wizard right now. And then we're gonna to write to that SFP module. Now, all we need to do to write to the module is click on the right button, and then it will take a little bit of time to transfer the data over. It says, do not remove the transceiver. And we could see that there's a little paper icon going over to the SFP, that means that it's copying that profile over. All right, and now the write is all done and that took about a minute to do and we could remove this transceiver. So what else can we do with this? Well, there really isn't much. We could just go to the top and swipe down and then this is gonna give us some options. We could turn up the brightness, we could turn on and off Bluetooth and we could do this little locking thing which I'm not too sure what it is. Another feature of the SFP wizard is DDM or digital diagnostic monitoring. This will be just for our fiber transceivers and it will give us real time performance and health monitoring. We're gonna be able to see the TX and the RX, we'll be able to see the temperature and we'll be able to see the voltage that is going through. And you can see here in the screenshot that you could turn the laser on and off. On the website for the monitoring of the SFPs, it says supports up to 75 minutes of continuous SFP transceiver diagnostics with the laser on or 35 minutes with the QSFP transceiver. The SFP wizard comes in at $49 USD and I think that's a pretty good price for what it does. But who would this be for? Well, this is gonna be for installers who are installing Ubiquity as well as third party equipment. Some vendors lock you into the transceivers that you could use. So this is gonna allow us to unlock that by copying over the profiles to a transceiver that might be a little bit more cost effective. Let's now take a look at the deals or what Ubiquity is calling the SFP Liberation Day. And currently on the storefront, there are five different options that we have. This will be for a limited time, but we could see we have a 10 gig multi-mode optical module that was $20 and it's now down to $12. We have a 25 gig multi-mode optical module. It's $29 and it originally was $49. We have the 100 gigabit SR4 multi-mode optical module and it is down to $39, originally 69. And we have a 10 gig single mode optical that is $59 and it was originally 85. On the 25 gig single mode optical module, it was originally $119 and it's now $69. So you are saving quite a bit of money on these transceivers if you buy them during the SFP Liberation Day. That was just a quick video on the SFP Wizard. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.